So seven years ago, a horrifying dungeon break occurred which caused mass destruction and chaos, which ended up in the death of the main character's parents. And from that day, Han Sung Yun with blood in his eyes and anger in his heart, swore to annihilate the monsters after becoming a hunter. But after years of training, his efforts, when compared to his promise, seemed insignificant. And after being dismissed from the hunter training center for being trash, he started to despair, but still managed to stay focused on what he needs to do. Then out of nowhere, the Tower of Trials recognized his unwavering will and praised him for it, thus granting him an opportunity to gain overwhelming power based on his performance on the trial given to him by the Tower. Han Sun Yun, given a second chance at achieving his goal, decided to choose the hard difficulty for the trial, and with his iron will and determination, he managed to clear the trial and gain the unique trait, Necromancer. After completing the first trial of the Tower of Trials, he understands that he has more trials to go through, and that in order to survive in the tower, he must have points which he can get from trials given by the tower. Now inside the tower, Han Sung Yun trains in order to survive and has become more focused than ever before now that he has taken a significant step towards his promise. After his first trial and now undergoing his second, Han Sung Yun finds himself battling against orcs which proved to be very difficult taking them on by himself, but later figures out the plan which was to use fire to close off the orc village and put them in disarray and slowly kill them one by one and absorb their essence to boost his vitality until he comes face to face with the orc chief and ended the battle with a decisive win thus completing the second trial of the tower of trials after returning to the tower and checking the tower chat room he discovers that it's possible for him to leave the tower of trials and return to earth and sets his focus on returning to earth after becoming so strong that no one can approach him and begins the third trial in the third trial, Han Sun Yun had to deal with the Guardian of Darkness which proved to be very challenging as it copies his moves and heals after taking damage. While attempting to cause a fatal attack and end the duel, Han Sun Yun loses an arm but seizes the moment of vulnerability and with a swift attack with his shield the Guardian of Darkness loses his head and ending the third trial. Back in the tower again, Han Sung Yun checks his growth and to his surprise, his unique necromancer trait leveled up and now gives him the ability to absorb skills of monsters killed by him and waste no time heading into the fourth trial. With a different goal to clear the trial, Han Sung Yun now has to work together with other teammates to clear the trial. After being belittled by his teammates, he waits until the right moment and with an overwhelming display of his skills, he makes them regret what they had said by completely destroying the monsters that they were struggling against, while also increasing his stats and absorbing a new skill. With his display of strength and competence, he assumes the role of commander of the party and continues towards completing the fourth trial. With a sudden appearance of dead monsters, Han Sung Yoon realized that there were other teams ahead of them and decided to quickly head to the boss before the other teams could kill it resulting in them failing the trial, which means death. Now reaching the boss and being trapped in the Goblin King's territory, Han Sung Yun faces off with the other team with his team members supporting him. But with his abilities and stats being above the average hunter, the fight did not last long. And with the death of the other team, he will receive additional rewards after completing the trial. With just the boss left in his way, Han Sung Yun finishes the fourth trial with ease as he pierces the Goblin King's head with no effort whatsoever and turns his back before being transported back to the Tower of Trials. And that ends the first part of this manual. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.